Number five, what is the meaning of the coordinate three, ten and a half? In this example, all we need to do is read the graph and try to understand it. So we actually, we have a title for this example, Antoine's swimming speed, and then we have minutes for our x variable, and then we have laps for our y variable. So the 11 represents minutes, the 38 and a half represents laps. So we're going to be looking at this point specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this point, 3, um, 10. I'm actually going to write the end of this. I think it'll be easier. 3, 10 and a half. The 3 is x, and the 10 and a half was y. And the 3, if I follow it back to the beginning, is minutes. And the 10 and a half, if I follow it back to the start, is laps. So now I know that when I write my sentence, I need to include 3 minutes and 10 and a half laps. And the storyline here is that Antoine is a swimmer. So I can write a sentence about Antoine that goes something like this. Antoine swims 10 and a half laps. Let me go over to my scribble. 10 and a half laps in three minutes. So Antoine swims 10 and a half laps in three minutes. I included the 10 and a half laps, I included the three minutes, and I made it about what the title was, Antoine is swimming.